All right, what's going on, guys? You guys know the deal. I'm uh, I'm in here again. I, I think I do like doing it in here more than the car doing the intro. But um, yeah, it's Saturday morning. It's the weekend. And um, I just woke up, dude. I'm ready to go lift. I'm just, I'm excited to do it. Uh, get a little bit better today. Today's a deadlift day, which is usually a little bit fun. I've been having some back problems, so we'll see like how heavy I actually decide to go. But the real thing I wanted to get on here and say today is... Bro, I know how it is to, like, not want to go to the gym at all. And, like, you know, like, during the work week, you can kind of get in a rhythm. And, you know, you it's your it's your last hard thing you do at the end of the day. And then you go home and rest. But on the weekend, I know how hard it can be to get yourself out of bed and drag yourself to the gym. Because there was a point in my life when I hated it also, dude. It was just... It was just such a hassle. It was something you go out of your way to do. It was something you do because you feel like you have to. But... I'm telling you guys, now being where I am, that's not how it has to be, dude. You can you can end up loving it. You can end up waking up every day and wanting to do it. But I think the biggest problem is, is I, I heard, I think Greg Plitt used to say, people get discouraged because they think about how far they still have to go and haven't taken into account how far they've come. Bro, you're, you're probably never going to quite reach your dream or your goal that doesn't mean you shouldn't work towards it and you have to be proud of the progress you made not where you're necessarily at you can people like quit because they feel like they can't keep going and they've given it everything they've had and they haven't seen enough change but the change will come man you just got to stay consistent with it and you got to stick with it and it takes time it takes years it takes it takes a long time but dude you, you slowly start chipping away and getting better to that and then think about it, dude, even if it takes, let's say two years, two years to become what you really want to become, then you have that for the next, the rest of your life or until you get old and you start to lose it, which I mean, 20, 30 years from now, like who cares? That's it's who cares, but dude, two years might seem like forever now, but to be happy for the rest of your life and in shape and proud of something that you've created. I don't know, man. It just, nothing seems more worth it to me. So, and it, and it helps you in all aspects of your life, not just in the weightlifting world, but I just, yeah, I don't know, man, it's Saturday and I wake up and I love going to the gym and I'm excited to do it. And it just, it, it makes my Saturday, bro. Like I go in there and I have a great time. Usually there's a couple of people I know in there on Saturday, get to chat in, hanging out and it just, it's awesome, bro. And then tonight, tonight is a run night. I'll head over. Tonight, I usually go to the track and see how far I can run, how fast I can run. I'm going to try probably run four miles as fast as I can today. We'll see how that goes. That's always a little tough and my calves have been hurting a little bit. So we'll see how that ends up at the end of the day. But dude, yeah, just Saturday, full work, full day of athletic and weightlifting work ahead, which is, you know, for me, I love that. That's a full day. That's a good life. If I can do that every day for the rest of my life, I'll be happy. So yeah, I'll see you guys. All right, so the thing I want to remind you guys is that this is not my whole workout. This is kind of just the highlights, but it's the things I wanted to include. So first things first, bro, I walk in and somehow all the racks at my gym were taken. So I just, I grabbed the Smith machine. I do some RDLs and I did some hip thrust to warm up, but I only included the RDLs here. Um, I'm pretty new to RDLs. So everything I do with an RDL is going to be kind of a PR because I'm just getting stronger and getting the newbie gains on that lift. So I think I hit this for like a set of 10, two plates on a Smith machine, nothing crazy, but um. Yeah, after that, I moved into the deadlift. So this is 505. This is pretty close to my PR, but not quite. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't really like deadlifting at this gym. The platforms aren't that great, but happy with that pushing forward. And then here's where things really decided to start getting interesting. Um, I think this is 265. I did 265. This is a set of 12 on squats, ass to grass. Um, this is kind of still the athlete in me doing sets of 12. Um, sets of 12 aren't nearly as fun for me as doing sets of three to five, and I'm not quite as proud of them I for myself but I'm pretty proud of this one and I feel like I might have even had a couple more left in the tank but um <clears throat> I felt like this was pretty good bro ass into grassing 265 for a set of 12 I just I can't really complain about that and I just I do like getting on squats and this is after doing heavy deadlift so I've already some fatigue has set in at this point so I mean, this is just good, bro. This help hopefully helps with everything athletic-wise and squats-wise and just high time under tension. 
and um, it really felt good. But then, so then I want to get into, so after this, bro, I went into pull-ups again. And the thing I want to say about pull-ups, bro, is they're just so hard to really judge. And the other thing about this set is I was pretty fatigued. I think I did it. It's the same thing as I did on uh, uh, Tuesday. I think I did a set of 12, almost 13. I just do body weight fluctuates so much. Like it's hard to really judge if you're getting stronger or not. But I think that, I think that pull-ups are like a thing that you should be like somewhat all around good at. And it felt nice to get out there and get like this set of 12. And then I moved on to this back machine. This is one of the things I like to do on this back day. So this back day is just a lot of different machines and exercises at high volume. But this is one of my top sets, bro. Just four plates on each side, throwing it around, getting the partials in at the end. It feels pretty good. Yeah, just side, dude, throwing weight around. So then I move on to leg press. Um, this is usually what I do at the end before I do some calves and crank out some forearms. And my forearms are looking pretty sliced right here. So I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, cranking out um just high volume sets, partial reps, whatever it is. This is just kind of my burnout at the end. Uh, make it feel good, uh, get stronger, and then move on. All right, long day today. I probably spent like over three hours at the gym. I just, dude, it's Saturday and it's just what I love to do, bro. Like I just, I don't know, man. I love going in there, spending all my time having a great time and then you know I'll come home I'll do some cardio in a little bit and then just spend all night eating recovering maybe playing some video games but yeah man I just bro if you love to do it and you have a good time doing it bro who cares if you're in there for a long time you know everyone shouts over training everyone shouts like oh you don't need that much oh you don't need that well, who cares bro if you love to do it and uh for me man I love to do it I had a great time today um probably gonna go get cardio in a little bit I'll let you guys know after that, but yeah, dude, just fun day, man. Fun day. All right, guys, it's Saturday night post cardio. Um, I just went out for a run, bro. I really, really wanted to get four miles in today, but um, that workout kind of kicked my butt a little bit today. So I had to settle for three and a half, but you know, and I'm proud of, proud of that. Just got to keep working. When I started, I was at 0 0.2 miles. So, you know, just be proud of the process, you know, can't wait to get some fast food in me carb up a little bit and get ready to go again next week. Um, always finish Saturday with a little evening or night run. It felt good. So let's go. Keep working.